Hello, good morning, how you doing today? Welcome folks, we are diving into it today with all things Aloha State. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, everyone and their mother has been off to Hawaii lately. And honestly, who could blame them? With crystal clear turquoise tropical waters, pristine white sand beaches, lush green vegetation, and rainbows for days, it's quite literally heaven on earth. I'm itching myself to get on a trip and Hawaii is absolutely at the top of it. So if you're interested to learn how you can get from sitting there to doing an epic ridgeline hike on the north coast of Kauai or chilling with my dude Crush off the coast of Maui, then this video is for you. Cool? All right, let's dive in. The Barclays Hawaiian Airlines card. This card holds a really special spot in my heart. And you know what else holds a special spot in my heart? One of these. This card was one of the first airline specific cards I got way back in the day. One of my buddies recommended that we get the card and eventually save the points to get to Hawaii one day. Sadly, I actually never made it to Hawaii with him, but I did make it to Hawaii with my girlfriend. Regarding this card, it comes with a 70,000 Hawaiian airline mile signup bonus after spending $2,000 in the first 90 days. Now those 70,000 miles, what does it get you? Well, that's a great question. It'll get you pretty much anywhere from North America to Hawaii, round trip, free 99. If you're on the East Coast, it'll cost a little bit more, about 52,500 miles. If you're on the West Coast, it'll cost about 35,000 miles to do it round trip. Now, let's say you're already in Hawaii, you're already in paradise, and you're looking to change things up a bit. Well, if you wanna to get to Japan, Korea, Australia, New Zealand, you can do that. For about 70,000 Hawaiian Airlines miles, you can get to all of those destinations round trip departing from Hawaii. Personally, I really like the fact that the Hawaiian Airlines program publishes their award chart. One of the ways that I recommend you using the miles, if you've already booked an economy ticket for full fare, consider using the miles that you earn from the sign-up bonus to do an upgrade, upgrading from economy to first class. Because I will tell you, uh, the first class cabin on Hawaiian Airlines is amazing. It is quite literally, in my opinion, one of the best domestic first class products, period. It gives JetBlue Mint a run for its money. Now, I've only been lucky enough to experience the first class cabin on Hawaiian Airlines on their legacy product, and that was really, really nice. But the new premium updated cabins with the live flat seats look absolutely impeccable. Get this, they fly direct nonstop from Boston all the way to Honolulu. So that's 12 hours to really kick back and enjoy this product, if that's what you're about. And if you're not about it, highly recommend you consider it. And if you don't wanna use your points to upgrade and you wanna just book upgrades flat out, it'll only cost 40,000 Hawaiian Airlines miles to fly one way from North America to Hawaii. Obviously, if you wanna do round trip, double that to 80,000 Hawaiian Airlines miles. Back to the earnings rate. Three Hawaiian Airlines miles for using the card on all purchases on Hawaiian Airlines, two miles for all purchases regarding gas, dining, or groceries, and one Hawaiian Airline mile earned for all other purchases. And when it comes to benefits, you get your first check bag for free. You also get every year a $100 companion fare discount and a one-time $50 discount on a companion fare. So begs the question, is it worth it? The annual fee is $99 and it's not waived in the first year. I would say this, for the first year, getting to tropical paradise, 100%. Without a question, it's worth it to get this card in the first year to shore up your Hawaiian Airlines miles. Because keep in mind, they never expire. Now, when it comes to year two, I would say this. If you fly Hawaiian Airlines once a year and you get to Hawaii once a year and you're bringing along a significant other or a friend, I think it's worth it because that $100 companion discount would offset the $99 annual fee. But if you're going there, you know, this year, potentially in another year or two, I don't know if it's necessarily worth it past the year one. If you do decide after one year to cancel the card, there is no negative impact on your credit score. If you cancel the card or close the card as the account is in good standing, the account will actually continue aging on your credit report for 10 years. You can also do a product change and see if there's a free version of the card to downgrade to, but those are just the options to keep in mind if you're not looking to keep the card past year one. So let me know in the comment section below, 
Is this a car that you're interested in applying for? Have you already applied for it? Or better yet, do you have a trip booked out to Hawaii? I'd love to help in any way I can. I have a pretty solid itinerary for Maui and Kauai. And if you're going to go to Kauai, I would 10-10 recommend the hike along the ridgeline on along the Napali coast. Uh, it was incredible. And if you can do a helicopter ride, do the helicopter ride. It is quite literally Jurassic Park in real life. My name is John. This has been What Card Wednesday. I appreciate you tuning in and I'll see you next Wednesday. Peace.